Welcome, Numoja 2 TV. We're here for another Suburban Council matchup with Albany High visiting the home of Averill Park Warriors. I'm Coach Danzy alongside my partner, Coach Fuller. Jump ball, what happened between uh, Big Fella Vinny Carlucci and Big Fella for Albany High, Shamar McCharles. Coaches of two teams here um, right now in the bottom of the gray division. Uh, Averill Park is right now is in fifth place and Army High is in the last place of the gray division. Jump ball is won by the Warriors. The starter, is, okay, okay, I'm coach, sorry, go ahead, coach. The starters for Army High is uh, number 23, Machals. Number three, uh, Kevin Seal. Number 12, Razier Chandler. Number 24, DeBar Sarzuela. And number four, Springsteen, Davion Springsteen. Coach, we got a quick foul here. Yeah, we got a foul on 24. Michael Ray, his first team. Michael Ray, the 6'3", 200-pound senior. Pick up that first foul. First one up, no good. Kevin Sill, coach, is a 90% free throw shooter. He made nine of 10 so far in the season. Second one's off as well. The starters for Averill Park is Leto, number 11, number four, Romer, number 24, Michael Ray, number 21, Jack Long, and number 23, Vinny Kirk Lucci. Three ball, side corner, no good. Tapped out by Michael Ray. Start a new shot clock here. Driving in by Michael Ray, off the glass, count the bucket. The, the Warriors are first to score, coach. It's a nice contest at just, just under seven minute mark. Goes like the zone defense here by, by the Warriors, the Ariel Park coach. Hey, I'm trying to figure out if they're in a 3-2 or uh, like a 1-2-2 two, two matchup type of thing. Kevin yeah, it's probably a 1-2-2 two, because two, they got the big fella, um, Vincent Carucci, long and strong outside. Yeah. Good, good pass down low. Razier had a shot at it, got deflected. And that's uh, Varcucci who snags that attempt. Michael Ray gets the ball at the high post, kicks in the corner, Coach. They move that ball pretty well, the Warriors do, coach. Michael Ray dumps it in. Gets blocked by Marchals. Skip pass. Looking to drive it in. Oh, good into. Oh, Michael Ray off the feed from Ben Romer. Ben Romer's a 6'2 junior coach. We liked him last year as a sophomore. Yeah, that was a nice interior pass there down low. Got into the teeth of the defense, a nice drop-off pass. Score is 4-0, uh, Warriors, coach. Just under 545, first quarter. Coach, uh, like the, like the uh, Falcons have to shoot a lot of three-pointers against this zone. Okay, um, Shamar uh, Merchall's goal cleans up Kevin Seals' shot attempt, puts it in for two. The Falcons will be on the board for the first time tonight at the 520 mark. And the Falcons look appear to be in a 2-3 zone right now, coach. They started out yesterday in a man-to-man -man full court pressure, coach. Long three here. No good. Rebound, Shamar, Merchall. Why do you think he, coach Sean Brown took it off? Maybe because back-to-back games, guys might be tired, maybe? Nice pass there, coach. Oh, Carlucci, that looking sweet there, yeah, coach. Yeah, that was a nice finish. Late lay. The ball, full court pressure here by the Warriors. Score is six to two, coach, with 4.40 to go. Got deflection and a steal. Gets it out to Romer. Romer lost the handle for a second. Gets it back, oh, spin move to the rack! Coach, spin cycle. <laughs> nice Whoa. move right there. Got the interior, yes. quick spin with the Lele on the glass. We're just under uh, 4.25, coach, eight to two. Warriors up. Warriors extend the on their own on that right there. A little bit of 
three-quarter stuff there. They work the ball. The Falcons do around the horn. Charles gets it in the oh short corner, turns it over, gets it kicked out. Wow. Coach Yell dunked the ball. He sure did. <laughs> <laughs> Got a, a steal here by the um, Falcons. Charles throws it up. No good. Chandler's there. Oh, it gets pinned to the backboard. Coach, these guys gang rebound by the Warriors, Coach. Yeah, I they see do. three, two, three guys there every time surround that ball on, on the carom. Coach, we're approaching 3.30 in the first quarter, Coach. 8-2, Warriors. And he extended 2-3 a little bit. Romer kicks it out to Leto. Romer spots the three ball. Comes up short. Rebound, Ray. Wow, Coach. Ray scores it 10-2. Warriors are up. Coach, Michael Ray came into this game only knocking down 74 total points. Like, he's ready. He's starting a fast start now. Yeah, he's a workhorse inside for the Warriors. As you see, he's ready to battle inside. Michael Ray had 14 points against Columbia in a win, and he had 13 points against Burnt Hills in a win. Those are his highest games this season. And he's a with the one 2 2 matchup they run. He's an athletic big, too, coach. Got a foul um, outside Razier with a nice uh, inline dribble drive there. We got some subs for the first time. Where Charles takes a break. They bring in uh, sophomore Elijah Austin, the sharp shooter. Was on Ray, so he had to head to the bench after doing some good work. He picks up his second foul. And they bring in number 35 for the Falcons, Yasir Edmonds, 6'4 freshman. Oh, here's the posterior. Rebound Warriors. 2.40 to go. Hands up, hands up. They work the ball around the horn, the Warriors do. We got two freshmen in the game and one sophomore for the Falcons, coach. They get it down low. Throws it away. Good defense by the Falcons. That was Clemenzi who throws it away, 30, uh, the 6'5", 185-pound junior. Yeah, we're going to be out on our game tonight. Much up last night, you're going to see a lot of institutions from both teams. They're already going deep into their benches, both teams here, early on. We got a travel here by uh, Davion Springsteen. We just at the two-minute mark, Coach. And we got some subs coming in. We got Harrison coming in early. And you got uh, Kadeem Danzi in early. I got to say, Coach, these, bro these uh, programs by Averill Park, the Warriors, are probably the best we've seen <laughs> all season. This has been, probably been on the broadcast. <laughs> we got some outstanding uh, uh, programs here. Uh, we will say pristine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the ball gets worked around for the three ball. Too strong. Rebound, Harrison. Nice, strong rebound. Addison, coach. Addison is in the game, coach. He came off a good game against uh, Columbia. He had 14 points. Looking to get it going. High energy guy. Pass it inside to the freshman. Throws it up. Scores the bucket. Nice, beautiful air terrier pass right there. That was Addison with that pass, right, coach? Yes. Okay, 10 to 4. 122 to go. There is not a senior on the floor right now for the Falcons. Good pass down low. He drops it and scores it. That's a good luxury to have. <laughs> knowing that your future, you got left players out here, you can put them out here right now and knowing that your future is with these guys. That's right. Clemenza, that scores that bucket for the Warriors. Kicks it out to uh, Isaiah. Good rebound there by the freshman coach. Chandler's a worker inside. I saw this kid play before, and he's very active body inside and doesn't mind being active. You mean Edmonds, the big the, the Yes, I'm sorry, player. yes. Good pass there to the post. Good feet inside. He, I, I, yeah, the, he's a freshman coach. You can see he doesn't, have, he doesn't have confidence yet to turn and face there. Spot in the side pocket. Three ball, Danzy. Just at the 25 mark. 25 seconds left in the first quarter. 12 to 7. The Warriors. 
That was good movement right there by the Falcons on that possession, Coach. They worked the ball real well and got a quality shot right there. Yes, and you did. saw Dan knock it down from the three-ball corner pocket. The defense extended, Coach. You know what type of defense this is? They've been That's playing like extended to. Oh, yeah. count the bucket by Lecco. Lecco is their leading scorer, Coach, for the Warriors, Coach. He has 88 points in the season uh, total in all the games so far, and he, his highest game this year was against Queensbury, where he dropped 20 points. And that foul was on Yashir Edmonds, his first, team's first. Nice move by Lecco, and he gets the basket down, and now he got a chance for an one. No question. He's a 78.5% free throw shooter, Coach. He made he dropped 22 or 28. But I like the, I like the activity of this Falcons team that they have right now on the court right now. I like the activity. You got guys that are active. Chandler, um, very active. Addison is very active. Leto knocks it in. Finish the three-point play. They look to get it up. Harrison throws up the heave. No good. Okay, Coach, uh, the Warriors, yeah. you know, extend, uh, not extend, but, they, you know, they take away the first quarter with a 15 the seven advantage here, Coach. Eight-point deficit for the Falcons. Um, so far, what do you see? I, see, I just see a um, competitive game thus far. I mean, April Park Warriors are coming out, and um, they're finding their rhythm earlier on. Got out to advantage, certain themselves. Um, the Falcons found themselves a couple substitutions here. Got a good quality possessions. Got some baskets. So yeah, it's a back-and-forth game right now with the Warriors holding on to an eight-point lead. Okay. Back to live action. 15-7. And Harrison is, an, I'm sorry, Coach, Harrison is another energy motor for the Falcons. Yes, he is. He, he tends to over-dribble sometimes. Good kick out. Three ball. Comes up short. Oh, good rebound by Addison, Coach. Addison continues his ways on the board. Yes. <laughs> Okay, uh, Janique is coming off with fa a fabulous game yesterday, Coach. He's a 33% free throw shooter. Coach, you wouldn't have to have his numbers from free throw line yesterday, do you? Comes off strong there in that first attempt. He was 6 for 10 yesterday, Coach. 6 for 10. Okay. You asked for it, I got it. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Took him long enough, though. But <laughs> <laughs> okay, Coach, he misses both free throws. I had Addison. to dig in the crates a little bit there, okay? Addison, Coach, he talks on defense like yesterday, Coach. And that back line comes a high hand. Way to close out there by Danzy. Yeah, you at least need one talker on defense. To get two for a team is really good. Yeah. <laughs> when you see teams that do more than that, well, that's awesome. Spots a three ball, Coach. Knocks it in. Leto, Coach. Leto, that's his fifth free throw. Um, Three-pointer in the season, Coach. Came in to the game, knocking down four. Three ball. Hits the posterior. Going the other way. So far, um, Austin coaches 0 for 3 from long range. Harrison gets the steal. Good pass. Addison goes up, unable to get it. Got tipped away. Warriors the ball. They elected to slow it down here, Coach. 18-7. Warriors are up. Charles looking to check in the game next to that ball. Hmm. That means look winded right now. He may need a blow. He's been working hard out there. He may get one here. Yep, we got a timeout. We got 15 seconds on the shot clock, Coach. Um, you know, when they come out. And, and uh, go ahead, Coach. Abel Park is elected to put Michael Ray, bring him back to the game with 6.33 here remaining. He has two personal fouls, so we want to watch that as well. Okay, 16, I'm sorry, 18-7. Uh, Warriors, Avery Park are up over the Falcons. Back to live action. 15-7. And Harrison is, an, I'm sorry, Coach, Harrison is another energy motor for the Falcons. Yes, he is. He, he tends to over-dribble sometimes. Good kick out. Three ball. Comes up short. Oh, good rebound by Addison, Coach. Addison continues his ways on the board. Yes. <laughs> Okay, uh, Janique is coming off with fa a fabulous game yesterday, Coach. He's a 33% free throw shooter. Coach, you wouldn't have to have his numbers from free throw line yesterday, do you? 
Comes off strong there in that first attempt. He was six for ten yesterday, coach. Six for ten. Okay. You asked for it, I got it. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Took him long enough, though. But <laughs> <laughs> okay, coach. He misses both free throws. I had Addison. to dig in the crates a little bit there. Okay. Addison, coach, he talks on defense like yesterday, coach. And that back line comes a high hand. Way to close out there by Danzy. Yeah, you at least need one talker on defense. To get two for a team is really good. Yeah. <laughs> when you see teams that do more than that, well, that's awesome. Spots a three ball, coach. Knocks it in. Leto, coach. Leto, that's his fifth free throw, um, three pointer in the season, coach. Came in to the game, knocking down four. Three ball. It's the posterior going other way. So far, um, Austin coaches 0 for 3 from long range. Harrison gets the steal. Good pass. Addison goes up, unable to get it. Got tipped away. Warriors ball. They elected to slow it down here, coach. 18 7. Warriors are up. More Charles looking to check in the game next to that ball. Mm. That means look winded right now. He may need a blow. He's been working hard out there. He may get one here. Yep, we got a timeout. We got 15 seconds on the shot clock, Coach. Um, you know, when they come out. And, and uh, go ahead, Coach. Abel Park is elected to put Michael Ray, bring him back to the game with 6.33 here remaining. He has two personal fouls, so we want to watch that as well. Oh. Back to live action. <laughs> Marchals gets the steal. Harrison with the ball. Let's talk about that over dribbling a little bit. It looks to attack the basket. Got kick. Good if thought. Harrison can make his moves a little quicker, think a little, process information a little quicker, mm -hmm. he could be a really good point guard. I, I think he just takes too long. He falls in love with the bounce too much. He falls in love with it. What well, we much. see with most kids loving the basketball. They get it high to Charles. He goes big, gets fouled. Good take there by Charles. He went strong at the hoop, coach. The Falcons are going to need more of that as this game goes along with yeah. him. He's attacking their bigs. That's a fact. And um, Leko picks up his first there, and that's the team's fourth. But more of that, like you said, coach, a lot more of that. Feeding and him was, inside. And, and it was a patient type of a post move, too. It wasn't like he's rushing. He wasn't dumping his shoulder like he was the last game, last outing either, coach. Well, I thought I thought Leko left him off the hook a little bit there, too. Or, or bail him out there. At okay, Charles knocks down both, coach. 18-9. We're approaching six-minute mark, Coach, uh, in the second quarter here. Michael Ray, who's been doing his thing. Yeah, the ball got ball deflected. Right I think they missed that. No, they didn't miss it. What happened was the last hand it went off was the Warriors. So it's the last team that's touched. That's what it is. So you're saying after Austin or whoever was the Army High, Deflected that ball. You saying somebody else know, from the Warriors oh. touched it? So it was the last team that touched it, and then it went in the back court. Oh, so they see. caused it to go in the back court. Oh, I didn't see all. Uh -huh. I just saw all the high player deflect that out. Don't tell me what I saw. <laughs> <laughs> it gets skipped out. Danzy comes off hard there. Might have been a little too impatient on that one. Five forty to go. Uh, on that one side, you can up fake, put it to the deck, and get to the hole in there yes, a little bit. Yes, but yes. I know after you hit one, oh, you want to see another one. Went away. Good skip in the corner. Ray is working, coach. Goes up. Rebound, Addison. Go to, okay. Harrison, right to the rack. Scores the bucket. At the 515 mark. Yeah, I like the way he plays. He's a high energy guy, man. He goes in with a lot of toughness and heart and grit. Yes. And I like the defense they've been playing. They've been very active. Knocked in his second three-pointer from over the, the, the left wing, Coach. Seems to be Leckle's uh, spot here, Coach. Hmm. Ball gets worked around. Austin has it. He's yet to get going here, Coach. They packed that out of the zone, packed inside. And Harrison's been able to get in and find some crevices. Yes. Hmm. But, Got five on the shot clock. 
stepped out of bounds. That was right there, Coach. He had nowhere really to go. He should have maybe even catch and shoot that one. Yeah. Maybe. You know what I mean? Probably was trying to just get something to go into the basket. Good defensive play there. Yeah. But they overworked the ball there a little bit. Yeah. And Springsteen comes in the game for See, you know what? There's another thing, too. For Harrison. When you see a teammate like that drive, if you've been working together, playing together, you know the cut <laughs> to help him out there. So I think it's a lot of, a lot of times guys is not knowing, not familiar with a lot of people. Oh, good but play goes, inside right top. there. Left hand, coach. Oh, oh Reed with the box out like that, coach? Mm -hmm. Good. Well, Charles gets it out of the rebound. Ah, too hard. Edison tries to cut Romer off. Mm. Steps in. The freshman steps in there, coach. Takes the, takes the contact. He does. Now, coach, what do you call that right there, coach? Is that what do you call that pass and crash? Yeah, you can refer to that as a pass and crash. Yeah. Definitely, yes. Okay. That is what you could call a passing crash. Okay, Danzy takes a break. They bring in uh, the bar, Zawala. Zarwala, I'm sorry. He's a crafty guard too. What he said, he, he, uh, I missed that, Cole. he stepped out of bounds? Yeah, he stepped out oh, of bounds okay. there. Huh? Stepped out of bounds. So 21-11, uh, the score, Warriors are up with 3.48 to go. So set your turnovers here, the Falcons have five, and to the Warriors three right now. Right now, uh, Falcons coach are doing a lot better than they did yesterday against uh, Columbia with the turnovers. <laughs> and I like the way they've been kind of patient with the ball a little bit, uh, over patient the last time. Oh, good play, high to low there, coach, from Carlucci to, um, I'm sorry, uh, Clem Clemenza, Clemenzi. For two, plus the harm, he would go to the line to try to extend his lead with a three-point play. And that's Addison's first team second. So he only got two fouls earlier on here, too. So this is a 55% free throw shooter coach. She made five of nine coming into this game. Clinks that one off. Yeah, with Garucci on there, it's hard to even feed that inside. And he keeps protecting it real well. He's very... Um, discipline to keep checking that middle right uh, there, and they got a turnover. Comes off the hands of uh, Addison here with three, ten in this first half. 23-11. Oh, good fake there by Carlucci. Dumps it down. Almost a steal. They do get the steal. Well, it wasn't a considered <laughs> steal because they didn't reset the shot clock. Oh, good drive and take with the left hand. Finish, Coach. He found the crevice on that one. Nice strong move by right Long. Yeah, Jack Long, the six foot, one seventy five pound guard, senior guard. That zone has been giving the Falcons a little bit of trouble here. They're trying to find spots to get inside. He drives it in, comes off too hard. Rebound. Coach, these guys are – I see three guys from the Warriors each time attacking that glass. Absolutely. You know? Now, they extended the lead to 14 here, and Falcons have to be careful here before this game gets away from them earlier on here. Colucci finds the gap, gets tipped away by Charles. Comes up with it was uh, DeBar. Austin looks to penetrate, kicks it back out. Find the corner. We got 155 left, Coach. We got players at the table waiting to check in. Coach, a sparse crowd here tonight. Not many fans here tonight, Coach. No, it's not. Good take, unable to go down. Warriors maintain possession. With 130, 135 to go. They extend the pressure up the half court. Yeah, they come out trying to make something happen, try to force something here before the half ends, try to get a little mini run or something here. Yeah. They post feed. Goes up. Too strong. Good defense there by Machado. Just stand up. Stand up strong. You, you know, ooh. See, that's, that's the opportunity they got to cash in on there. They got to yes. cash in right there. Get the, get the stop, defensive stop. Got a chance to come down and cut into this lead. Make a mini run. Try to get it under the 10 if you can, but preferably get cut into it and not let it extend right, right now. Right, right, right. One, one sixteen to go. Two, three zone by the Falcons. We got a high post and we got a low post. They've been doing pretty good with that. The Warriors have all night. Getting yeah, the high post and looking for the low post. 
I want to go hello to high this time, coach. Good feet, good try, good way to knock that away by uh, Caudry. That was a good attempt of the basket there, coach. That looked good, this didn't go down. Austin spots it in and out. He can't find it, coach. That's his fourth long ball, unable to go down for him. We're under one minute, coach, to go in this uh, first half. High, they find that high, feet, high post, coach. Spots the three ball. Comes up too strong. I'm sorry, too, too short. Austin looks inside. Good post defense that time by the Warriors. Now the turnovers are starting to mount here. They got six turnovers for the quarter and eight for the game. Yeah, under 20 seconds, coach. They might, are they going to hold for one here, coach? <laughs> I always say that. I, I want to say absolutely, but I, I've been seeing guys take opportunities when they're there. I think they're definitely content to take the last shot here. Under five seconds now. Good play there, coach. Good play. Knocked it in. Let go from the eight-footer, coach. 27-11. And the Falcons are down 27 here at Eight Park. Coach, what are, your, what are your thoughts here in this first half? I mean, it looked at promising for the Falcons, then it got away from them. What are your thoughts? Well, I mean, routinely the April Park Warriors have been able to get the ball in the middle on every time, every position down the court. Right. Right. And we know when you're playing zone, the weakest part of the zone <laughs> is the middle. That's right. So that, at all costs, you want to protect the middle of the zone. Right. So if you see there, routinely every time down any chance, they, they just hit in the middle, mm -hmm. and they're playing such a good passing game. They hit it to the wing. If the wing goes back, Right. If the wing goes down to low, and then the guy's dipping high. That's why you saw, you alluded to, they went high low, and yeah. then they went low high. Right. So that's right. what you get right. in that situation there. Yeah. So it behooves them to take, if they're going to stay in zone and play a zone, right. the extended zone that they're playing, they got to make sure that guy comes and protects the middle. That's one of the main issues that they're so having right you now. Maybe you got to have the, you, maybe you got to have the, the big man in the two three. Maybe you got to just secure, secure that high, the high area. Whatever adjustment <laughs> you need to make, whether it's the off guard coming yeah. in and protecting that middle. But then you leave it, but leaving you leave that offside wing for the jumper shot, coach. I mean, we, that's possible. Okay. Well, either one, it's still a rotation thing. Right, so right, 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 right. The easiest fix is to bring the big guy. Right, that's what I'm thinking. That yeah, is the right, easiest right, fix. Right, you know, right. However, I still want my guard kind of getting Digging back to yeah, that yeah, yeah, to that yeah, foul yeah, yeah. area yeah, as well. Oh, yeah. So that's yeah. one thing. Secondly, it'd be interesting to see if the Falcons come out of that and play a little bit of um, man to man defense. Mm -hmm. Maybe speed these guys up a little bit. So they take a little bit with um, pressing them back off of it. Mm -hmm. See, you got to speed them up a little bit. See, yeah. Rattle them. See if you can rattle them, get them going. Yeah. Avril Park side is not really much to say. They playing basic basketball and quintessential basically saying, I'm taking what you give me. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. Okay, that's the halftime Emoji 2 TV report. And the Warriors, Avril Park 27, Albany High Falcons 11. Back to live action to start the second half. Like both teams want to get this game started, Coach. Um, the second half started. You know, they had still had time on the clock here for halftime. They said, let's get this game going. Yeah, Falcons got some work to do here. They're down by 16 points, so they got to get going here early on or this game can get away from them real fast in a hurry. Coach, they changed to the man-to-man -man defense here in the second half. Well, that's what I was wondering what they were going to do, and they come out in it. Kicks it out to Leto. Leto side pocket three ball. Knocks it in. Rattles in, coach. Leto, wow. coach. He came into this game, like I said before, he knocking down four. So far he has, what, three or he two? He knocked down three already. Three already. He has already. 14 points. Seal looks to penetrate. Gets it out. He drives it in. Gets deflected. Coach, you got three guys down there rebounding again defensively. And the thing about the Warriors, they're not a small team. They're long and got some size, man, yeah. width with them, man. Look at Ray. I mean, thick guy here. Yep. You yep. got Garucci. You got Leko. I mean, <laughs> these guys are got a strong little front court there. No question about it. Oh, the Lele. That's Romer. Romer 6'2", coach. You got Michael Ray, who's 6'3". You got Leko, who's 6'3". And you got Carlucci, coach, who's 6'6". So, like you said. And he's not the even one. The Sixers guy's not the one even on the box right now. Yeah. He's top being long, gangly, and giving them problems. That's right. 32-11, Coach. 6.30 to play here in the third period. They find Seal in the corner. They swing extra pass. Coach, they make the extra pass here. Oh, dude, that was a good distraction there by Leko, Coach. He came up here and deterred that shot. Leko's handling the pressure, Coach. 
Man to man. Pressure's up. Good pressure deep. We got a turnover here with 6.03 to go. 32-11. We got a 1-2-2 two, two pressure here, defensive half court. Pressure here by the Warriors, Averill Park. They seem to drop it down a little bit as the ball is moved to either side of the wing. Seal looks to drive, kicks it out. Can find Razier inside, coach. Yeah, they're having trouble against this zone, coach. He did it. It's a young guy with the foul, drops it in. 32-13, coach. And that was Esmonds there with the nice uh, touch inside for the for the for the bucket. And that's Romer's. Yeah. Warriors. Romer's first. Warriors first. Um. First one. Up. Oh, no good. Rebound. Warriors. 5:30 to go, coach. Full court pressure here by the Falcons. They're trying to mix it up here and cause them just rushing, get deflection here. Oh, oh, Gets, oh, let's go. Oh, just had swept that right oh, up. Quick three there, coach. Oh, baby. Knocked it in, coach. Jack Long, the six foot, 175 senior guard. Nice assist by Leco with the outlook pass after he did a nice little wraparound. <laughs> Still, oh, gets blocked out of bounds. That's a, that's a heck of a closeout there, coach, by Leco. Yeah. They've been closing out like that all game, coach. Like I said, <laughs> they're long, too. Yeah. Okay, they bring in Austin, coach. They replace him with uh, DeBar, Zarzula. Falcons are down by 22 points. The lead is extended. Stop and pop. Still. Nice looking shot right there. Yeah. Full court pressure still up. And when you have the luxury of having Garucci in the middle of the zone like that, easy 6-6 six, six target. <laughs> yeah, you better believe it. Oh, he got, wow, he put the ball to the floor. Nice dribble drive there, coach, with oh. the left hand. Oh, you didn't know I can do that? <laughs> <laughs> Big fella. Their oh, confidence is all-time high now. Yes, it is. Coach, did Machal start the second half? No, he didn't start okay. the second half. They started champ. Um, uh oh, coach, it might be a headbanger here. Oh, throw it down, Big fella. Throw it down at the 415 mark here, coach. We got a timeout here by the Falcons. Sean Brown wants to talk about it. Carlucci, coach, show some springs in that little banger there. Yeah, he's showing a little bit of everything here. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That dribble drive with the left hand was crazy. Yes. And then he comes back next play and bangs bang, it. Bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> okay, coach. What do you think here with, uh, you know, 39, uh, the Warriors, and uh, Army High 15 with 4 14 to go, coach? What, yeah. are, what are your thoughts? Oh, they came out the locker room, and the worst thing that could have happened for the Falcons happened, and that's the Avril Park Walker, Warriors continue to go on a run. Yeah. Now their confidence is at all time high. They built a 24 point lead cushion, yeah. and the Falcons is having a lot of difficulty with scoring against that zone. Right. So right. they only get limited to one shot. Yes. And it's not even a w one good shot. <laughs> right, at right, that. right. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, now yeah, it's a yeah. tough situation for them, and it's a long hill to climb. Sometimes I have like stuff and strategy that I might say if they did this, they did yeah, right. they, they came out with the pressure. Right. That didn't affect them. Yep, yep, they, yep. they extended the lead when yeah. the Falcons went man and went zone pressure. <laughs> right. So now right. we, what yeah. are you having your bag of tricks left to really try to do anything with this? Yeah. yeah. So. Okay, Coach. The Falcons will try to go to the length of the floor here. Look like the uh, Warriors are going to apply some pressure here, Coach. And, and that's the type of thing, that's a psychological, like, warfare. You keep yeah. mixing it up. We're already up by 24. Now here we come with pressing you now, giving you more to think about yeah. and trying to climb in the game. Then when we fall back in the street, too, a 1-2-2, two, two, see if you can score against that as well. Right. So you lose nothing doing this except by not letting them score on the possession. That's right. They fall back, Coach. Chandler just drives, kicks to Harrison. I like to know what that with my Charles. Um, what's that? What's going on with him over there? That's a tough way to start the second half without your, you know, your main guy. You know, mm -hmm. your leading scorer, most likely your leading rebounder. See what he is. It. One shot. One shot and all. And eh? jumper. No good. Leko had to call him and say, "Yo, chill for a second. <laughs> yeah. We good. We don't need lucky. to rush this one." He got lucky <laughs> with that one. Huh? 
Uh, but, even that defense there by the Falcons, nobody got a back tip. That that handle looked very sloppy on the way down. I don't, you know, that's that's that should been taken for the that should been taken like from a baby right there. Came from a baby. Harrison looks to drive. Draws some contact. He will go to the line at the 318 mark in the third quarter. Warriors 39. Falcons 15. And Romer picks up his third foul. The last time I seen the Falcons um, down by this amount, not even by down this amount, really the number of points they have offensively was when they part when they played against Shin at the Falcons nest. You know, they had they finished that game with 29 points. You know, so you know, it looks like they might be well on their way to that type of finish here. There's a lot of game left. Yeah. You know, got 318, third quarter. We got a sub here, Coach Addison comes back in. They're hoping they can mount a run here, get something going here. I mean, you never want to lay down. It's only the third quarter with 318 running. Comes off hard on that one. Gets tipped up by Addison. The Falcons have to get some quality stops. Hard to turn over this team right now, but they have to get some quality stops right here. Or at least leave them the one shot. <laughs> Absolutely. You know? Because right now, they're no, Abel Park is not compelled at all to be in no hurry whatsoever. Skipping it up all around, coach. Finding open people. Three ball knocked in by uh, Child Rose, coach. He's the getting six. a piece of the action. <laughs> <laughs> he came in this game, coach, knocking down three three pointers mm. uh, for the season. Mm. Rose Child, coach, highest game this season was against Queensbury, where he had nine points. Gets blocked there. Addison does. Still gets it. On the rim, unable to go down. Strong rebound by Ray there, Coach. Yes. Nice strong inside. Oh, he Post picked up, a he timeout picked, here. Yeah, he, he tried to, and he got a timeout. He picked that ball up in the wrong spot. Yeah. You want to pick that ball like that little coffin corner right here, Coach. Right past half court. You don't want to do that. Coach, the uh, Warriors are 42 and the Falcons 16. Back to live action here, Coach. 42-16 with 225. We got a confusion here, Coach, mm. on uh, where the position of the ball should be taken out of. Mm. For, are they trying to treat, well, the coach has a, a question about where was the timeout call. And the uh, other ref just put it in play. <laughs> That's probably shit. You sit there like, really, we're going to debate this? That's what the other ref was saying. <laughs> oh, wow. Man. Coach, that's that low to high pass, Coach, we talked about earlier. Yep. We got 2.10 to go in the third quarter, 44-16. That's his 16th point of the contest. They're assisting the ball very well here, Coach, for the mm. um, Averill Park Warriors. Seal mm. looks to drive it. Gets it stolen. Leko against Austin. Wrapped around. I knew it was back. coming. Oh, too strong. Ray right there with the finish. No, that 145 to go, coach, here in the third quarter. The Warriors, coach, extend the lead here. 46-16 to 30. With 135 to go, third period. Off the hands of Edmonds, goes out of bounds. We got some subs here. Springsteen checks into the game. Takes uh, Seal out and takes out Edmonds and Harrison. And Addison and Danzy checks in. And Crowdry. Crowdry. For the Falcons. Full court pressure. Ball gets worked around. Gets skipped. Nice skip pass. They find a low to high again, coach. That's Leko. He just shot that. <laughs> Long three. Off. Addison gets it ripped away. Gets oh, on the fight. floor for it. Extra pass. They got a new shot clock, so they're okay with working it around. Mm. Looks like Clemenza has no move down there. They find him. He was hesitating to take a shot. He yeah, went fighting with force. Yeah. Austin looks to drive it. He gets blocked. <laughs> Coach, 
Coach, they're playing defense, transition defense, half court defense. They rebounding, they're knocking the shots down, on the, sharing the rock. On the ground for loose balls, yeah, diving. Coach. Yeah, coach. I'm surprised this team's only won one game in the Suburban Council, coach. Right now, they're in fifth place with a one and four record in the, in the Suburban Council. Overall, they're four and four. So they're finding themselves. Yes, uh, yes. Their last three games, they won. Oh, gets blocked there. Springsteen does. That is the quarter here, Coach. 46 to 16. Coach, you know, like I said before, the last the last three games for the uh, Warriors, Coach, they won. They beat Queensbury 67-36. They beat Burn Hills 46-30, and they beat Mahanas in 43-29. So they could have been. They might have been finding themselves here. Yeah, they, this is the time to find yourself in the season. You start to figure out what's working. Like we always talked about, the parts are constantly changing when you got a varsity program. Juniors, seniors, people graduating, all those yeah. kind of things. So you got to find yourself, see who's who, who's what. And this is the time they're doing that. So the way they're looking tonight, I mean, they're looking pretty yeah. good. But yeah. We'll see how they continue to formulate and develop that chemistry down the line. They do have one big win, though. They beat Columbia the first time they played them. And then they, uh, you know, um, and then that's why they had that. Uh, then they won a little two-game losing with Bethlehem, understandable. Right. Then they played Columbia again, which is a crazy kind of schedule. I know. Um, they that. lost that game, and then they won their run again. So this team here looks to be formidable in the Suburban Council grade division at least. Uh, what happens is, like, this is the type of team that you can't overlook. Right, This is the type right. of team you can't overlook, and, and they continue to get stronger and find themselves. So, yeah. Back to live action. Start the... Final stanza. They're chopping out too, coach. Yep. Like I said, that zone's been giving them problems. Now you bring Lesko up. Addison can't find it. Gets it tipped around. Let go, coach. <laughs> He's a strong body kid here. Yes, he is. Probably play football for them. I'm just I know Michael Ray plays football. I know that. I think he's a tight end for the uh, the Warriors football team. Now, I believe I saw Lecco's name in the football football um, program. So you see that toughness right wow. here. Three ball, coach. Everybody's getting the action here for the uh, the uh, for the warrior for the Warriors here, coach. Theodore at yeah, fell. At fell. Coach, he knocked down three three pointers coming into this game. Three ball by Danzy comes off to right there. Rebound by the Warriors. Let go. Love Reese said he tripped over himself. There. Yeah, he said he lost his footing. <laughs> Looks like wholesale changes here by the Warriors coach. 49-16 with 6.54 to go. Let's see, can the Falcons get a little something against the second string of the Warriors right here? Maybe they can get some buckets here going just to feel good about themselves. Still can't find it. Rebound. Addison. Yeah. Scored a bucket. 49-18. Six, under 630 to go. Gets tipped away by the Falcon. Coach, Avril Park's next game is going to be um, at Burn Hills. That's going to be Thursday. Uh, the Shinohoa is going to come to this this spot right here where we at standing right now, Coach. Uh, Shinohoa will play them on Tuesday the 14th. Then they will play CBA at CBA the Friday the 17th, Coach. This is so, a good <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, Coach. This is a good game for the Warriors to get going, get feeling themselves a little bit with a tough Plainsman team coming in to face. Yeah. Got a still here. Addison gets the ball, drives it to the rack. Oh, it rolls off. Okay, we got a foul. Like Chandler will go to the line. Coach, the next games for the Falcons will be against Troy at Troy on the 10th for this Friday. And you got a home game against CBA on Tuesday, the 14th. And then they play Burn, then they at Burn Hills Thursday, uh, the 16th. Chandler knocks it in. I tell you, it remains to be fun to get out and watch high school basketball, though. I tell you that much. I mean, oh, yeah. I really am. I'm picking up even more and more steam getting out and seeing these guys play. Yeah, you're right about yeah. that. 
Chandler finished one for two at the line just now, this trip. It's 49-19. The Warriors, your whole team going to feel good in practice tomorrow, you oh, know, yeah. well, <laughs> feel energized. Falcons, you're right about that. <laughs> the guys on the second string will be ready to go to give the first string a hard time. Uh -huh. and practice will be at a high, all-time high tomorrow. He might be the best prize he had yeah, all year. Yeah, exactly. Homeboy <laughs> <laughs> yeah. got a, uh, Kaluji got a banger. A lot of talk about tomorrow. Yeah, a lot of talk, don't let's talk about yeah, practice. You know? And, you know, the bench is going to erupt here. We're going to watch the, the uh, Warriors erupt here and when every time you know, one of the personnel from the bench come into the game scores. That's right. We got Albany uh, 19 in the Warriors Air Park, 49, with 5.40 to go. Back to live action here at Averill Park, where the Falcons here battle it out, a suburban council matchup. Averill Park 49, Albany High Falcons 19, with 5.30 to go, final stanza. They work the ball in line, low to high again, at the buzzer, coach. And the, at the shot clock expires, they get a bucket. Yeah, coach loves that right there. Work the ball all the way around, down to the nitty gritty and get a bucket. You heard the foul way over here. Mm. Nowhere near a one and one here. Mm. No, not a lot of fouls called, four to oh. zero. Four team fouls in the Warriors, zero for the Falcons. If, I, if, if, if I'm a coach and I'm playing a game like this and I'm getting losing like this, I don't know if I want my foul territory category to be zero. Yeah, good uh. take there by Danzy on the end line. What do you say there, coach? I said no pressure by the Falcons. Go ahead, coach. I'm sorry. I said, if, I, if I'm down by this much, I don't think I want my foul total to be in the category of zero. <laughs> right, right. right. I mean, did somebody commit a hard foul? I mean, that's, I mean I'm, I'm just talking about that. When I, you guys, you know we had zero fouls in the second half. With 440 to go, we had zero fouls in the second half. Wow. You know, and we're, and we're losing like that. Somebody didn't send a message. Somebody hit the floor. Somebody and talk hard foul, nothing. Yeah. yeah. Addison check, looks to check back in. He replaces Austin. We got 440 to go, 51 21. Advantage Warriors. Still. Skip it over. Work the ball to Razier Chandler. Three ball, unable to go down. Warriors track it down. Under 420. Coach McCharles did not get back in the whole second half here. No, we didn't play. Yeah, I heard a smack way out here before the shot attempt. I guess they're going to call him on the, on the second foul, I guess. Yeah, I guess it was something McCharles or something went on probably in the locker room. He was disgruntled about or something. And yeah. maybe a coach's decision that was just opted out going with him in the second half. First shot up. Too strong there. By Colin Hansen, 11th grader, 5'11". Second one's good. Hansen gets in the books, coach. It might be one of those games where everybody in your team, everybody in your roster might get a bucket. I told you practice morale is going to be high tomorrow. Oh, yeah, you're right. About that. <laughs> we got 350 to go, Coach. Final stanza. 52-21. Yeah, but this zone have gave them fits all night long. Still finally gets one to drop from long distance. That's Seals' eighth three-pointer in the season, Coach. Mm. He came in knocking out seven. Get a foul up top. We got 13-16, uh, 52-26.
The ball will be taken out of bounds by the Warriors. Yeah. Coach, you got uh, uh, Plagusi, right? How you pronounce the name, Coach? Plagusi? For the coach's name. Plagusi. Plagusi. You know, he's still up, Coach. You know, coaching these, you know, the guys who are on the end of the bench. He's coaching like they're starters, Coach. He didn't sit yeah. down yet, you know? Yeah, I'm sorry, Coach. Something caught my attention. The coach was, Coach Brown was really, uh, Find the three ball, knocks it in. That's uh, a fell. Yeah. Fell. Coach Brown was advocating for a back court on that play. No, I'm sorry, that was Colin Hanson. I'm sorry. Colin Hanson knocked that down for the Warriors. Ad Addison comes in, takes Danzy out at the 356 mark, 55 26. Now, what are you saying about the half court call? Like, yeah, um, he was he was advocating for half court call, but all three points of emphasis didn't get over, right. and he was he was advocating for a three point call hard. But I think the ref went over and explained to him, "Hey, the guy didn't get all the way over." Ball gets tipped out. Austin tracks it down, sets up the three ball, unable to go down. Coach, he couldn't find it all night tonight. Yeah, tough shooting night for him tonight. Sometimes you have those nights though, you know. Absolutely. You got to find other ways to score, you know, when his shot is not falling down. Oh, Edison went up. Oh, he went upstairs to get that, Coach. He did. Wow. <laughs> Way to go get that young fella. Yeah, this kid plays with a lot of energy. Show some athleticism there, Coach. Yeah, he, yes, he did. He got 2.31 on the clock. 55-26. And the ball went out on the, uh, the uh, Warrior, Coach. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Dividends all the way around the board. Yeah, Harrison spots it. Two ball, no good. Rebound. Warriors. That's too easy to get through there. They find an open corner shot here. Hey, everybody. Are you able to go down? Razier Chandler tracks it down, looking to penetrate to the rack. Draws the foul. We'll go to the line. Strong move by Chandler right yeah, there. Yeah, he goes to the line to hope, you know, to get some more points here for the Falcons. Get to 29 here with 158 to go. 55-28. Yeah, he was determined to finish on that one. Oh, yeah, Coach. He was not giving that ball up. No, not at all. Coach, we got, I think we got LaSalle playing, um, LaSalle playing Voorheesville tonight, I think, Coach. What do you think about that game? Yeah, that is, that's a real good game. <laughs> I like that who, game. Who are, you, who are you taking in that one? I would have to take Voorheesville. Oh, I'll take LaSalle in that one, Coach. Yeah, I'd have to take Voorheesville. Cause so you think Little is that much of a factor to overpower those three, those three, those three uh, juniors over there? With it, Dixon and Luca Rally and... Um, uh, Jemiah Evans. Well, my thing was with LaSalle now. I have, we have and Tanner. They divorce, but do have Tanner. Yeah. We have Tanner. Um, uh, Tesco. Uh, Tesco, Tesco. Yeah. yeah so. Well, so, the thing about it is, is that what I saw with LaSalle was they had a little bit of struggle against that game in Saratoga. That was early on in the yes, year, granted. Yes, yes, yes. With scoring. Right. It was hard for them to really who was going to emerge. I know Gabe, Gabe is kind of their primary score, but other pieces around them. A lot them, better now. Yeah, a lot better now. Well, what I'm saying is that I saw a little proven score along with Tesco. Prove took score. down Troy. Yeah, prove <laughs> they took down everybody in their path so far, oh, so. besides the um, Saratoga. Waterfully, whoever you want. So what I'm saying to you right now is when I sing with Little and when I sing with Tesco, two proving scores. So for me, I would have to go with Boresville well, you're just based me, on. You're trying to tell me the pressure of the the pressure by uh, LaSalle. You think the Boresville, the Boresville Blackbirds can handle that? Are you kidding me right now? I know Little can, <laughs> and Tesco can too. I mean, we saw we they went in there and played. Uh, um, now you got me drawing a blank here, oh, well, unfortunately. Oh, Waterford. Happened. Yeah, a, a Waterford had moved team that was so sort of six and zero, eight and zero when they yeah, came in. Yeah. And they yeah. they showed pressure all game Small long. Court. All game long Small pressure. Court Tesco court. handled it with no problem. <laughs> he just knifed through there with no problem. So you know I mean, you got an extremely good ball handler in Tesco that. A lot of times you could leave him in the backcourt against two guys, and he got that. Coach, LaSalle's uh, battle test. So, battle to Saratoga yeah. started out, and then they got they just beat Troy playing, you know, all the other teams. 
you know, like we know sometimes those classes are just a couple players here and there. You got you got Little who was playing double A last year. Right. All right. right. With, with yeah. And we know Tesco straight up is a double A. Let's keep yeah. you know, keep it a stack here. <laughs> yeah. You making it seem like LaSalle's a runaway game. Like LaSalle got that with no problem, I'm, hands I'm down. Only about 15. Only about 15. That's, that's a respectable <laughs> number. Yeah, you definitely talking. <laughs> you talking reckless. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to find out later on tonight, Coach, who won that game. And, yeah, uh, you will be getting a call from me later on tonight. 15? Wow. Yeah, yeah 15. Are they going to win? I'm, no, no, they're going to win. I'm just, I'm just, I know, but I'm just gonna... answer your phone if, when they don't win. You talking about make sure I – No, because you will say, oh, they went by 15, though. They went by 15. But the game by 10. No, I won't argue yeah, that me. point. Oh, I won't okay. argue that point. All no, right. I, I picked Boysville out. Okay. I don't need the points. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I don't need the points. Okay. Left hand finish. Unable to go down by Danzy. He will go to the free throw line. Danzy, a 33% three, uh, free throw shooter, coach. One for three in the season. Oh, well below your 50 50 factor. Yes. Huh? First one's up. Knocks it in. Off on the second one. Razier gets it right up. That time out there by Sean Brown. We got Averill Park 55, Albany High 33 no. with 52.1 seconds to go. Hey, back to live action to end, uh, close out this game here. 50 seconds to go. Coach G reserves for Averill Park has definitely handled um, stepped up to the, you know, the challenge here, coach. And the latter part of this game. Scores a bucket there. That was uh, Dan McShane, the 5'10", 180 pound junior. Because you got 20 seconds to go. Ball be taken out. Coach Troy plays Gildland tonight at Gildland. That should be a good game as well. Yeah, that should be a good game. You know. Don't go me into nine. Got a steal here. Drives it. Goes up. Unable to finish on the steal by Danzy. Knocks in the first one. Can't finish the 50 50 factor. He got a foul here with 11 seconds to go. 57 34. Avril Park is up. The only other guy I can think of be good, Coach Gloversville versus a uh, ball up in Perth. That's the only other guy I can think of be halfway decent. I mean, when, yeah, the Gilman and Troy game would be. Interesting. Right. Okay, they'll hold it here for the last one. For the last second to go off. Avril Park, coach, leaves here with a 57-34 uh, victory here, coach. Final thoughts? Well, I mean, it, was, it started to be a lopsided game from probably half time, after halftime in. They were up by 16 at the half. They came out. We, we thought the Falcons may have a run in them to try to cut into the lead and make this a game. What happened is Avril Park, just extended to the lead to 24 points and then began to run away from where high. Mm. And so in that regard, so Avery Park came in, defended their home court, did what they needed to do, gained some confidence going on to the next level. Albany High has a lot of questions about themselves. So right now they got a lot of unanswered things that they have to shore up, find out where, where they at, have a real gut check with these guys, and see exactly where everyone's at, and go here from the season and try to start piecing some things together, putting some things together, you know, some, you know, some glue, some putty knife, you know, get stuff together. Yep. Pack up some holes, get things hopefully going in the right direction, and try to see where they can start to savage the rest of their season and right. putting us something together and hopefully can be re relevant by the latter part of the season. Well, it won't get easier the next game because they play Friday the 10th 
of January, Coach, against Troy at Troy. That's going to be a toughie. You know, they, they got CBA um, at CBA on Tuesday, the 14th. That's a good – that's a game they can get. And you got Burn Hills that fall on Thursday, another game they can get. Um, really, you know, uh, Troy – you know, Troy's tough, but, you know, they're – you know, they're young. So. See, I, but I like the Troy matchup because what you will know about Albany and Troy, no matter what, is that each you throw team. Throw the records out the way. Throw the records out yeah, the way. Each yeah, team is yeah. coming to really battle hard body. Yeah. You know what I mean? All their friends and the family and the bragging rights and all that starts to go into play. Yeah. So that's the one thing. But, but again, that's the type of game that, you know, you know Troy is doing well. Right. So Albany can come in and hopefully, you know, try to work some things there, get, get a victory and have some confidence. Like when I said putting things back together and seeing where they're at, that's the type of game that you want to utilize and hopefully get you some confidence and get your team gelling at the right time going to the latter part of the season. And it seems like Avery Park is definitely gelling, Coach. Yes. <laughs> yes. It definitely seems like they're gelling. They're finding themselves. You talked about you alluded to their record. Yeah. They were 4-4, four and four, um, and that's the type of record where you're up, down, here yeah. and there. Games you were in, you probably could have won. Right, right, some right. games you probably got you know, handled in or yeah, whatever, right. but you try to figure it out, you know what I mean, as you yeah. move along. And they got Shin coming in be the ultimate test for them yes. to really show them where they're at. So yes. it's a good thing. So they and got the good a good thing about this tonight. game is it extends their four-game winning streak, too. So you got four games in a row you won. So, so you're definitely <laughs> pulling it together at yes, yes. the right time. So they're, they're happy. At least he cannot be happier right now and where in the direction they're going. Okay, Coach. You know, uh, it's the Emoji 2 TV sportscast. Emoji 2 TV postgame report. I'm here with head coach of the Aero Park Warriors, uh, Dave Puglisi. Um, coach, um, you you know, you got your guys balling tonight, man, and you've been on a three-game winning streak. What's that been getting into the Warriors of late? Uh, I think we're starting to understand our identity, and we want to defend you and rebound the ball on defense and not turn the ball over and take quality shots, so it keeps us in games because we've had some bouts where we can't score the ball. Tonight we made shots, so things always go better when you're making shots and I really thought the kids guarded for those first three quarters tremendous I mean we were into people making difficult shots rebounded on defense so I was very pleased with our effort tonight so talk to me about when you really you know when you gained you know control of the game when was that time when you recognized that and you know how'd you get to that point I thought if early on when we were forcing them to take deep shots threes and so forth we had to keep them from getting to the ball getting to the basket and we wanted to keep the big guy from getting touches if we could and when they started to take threes and we were rebounding misses we got out to like 10 to 2 14 4 things like that i knew we were in pretty good shape if we could keep the pace where it was we didn't want to get up and down tonight yeah, right, so right. so we were happy with the pace of the game <clears throat> now i also noticed that you sent like three guys to the glass you sent lemon to one shot you guys are very active with the hands and with your body movement um the testament to your defensive uh you know prowess over there talk to me about you know what what, what did you do to get those guys so pumped up to play defense like that well for five of the last six games we've kept our opponent under 40 points which as you know in boys basketball is very challenging and it hasn't been just zone we've done it man-to-man -man wise we've done a 3-2 1-3-1 so like you said when we're active and our hands are moving high school teams have a hard time making their first shot so if we can rebound misses and play first shot defense it really helps and they've bought into doing it and they've done a great job over the last six final question what do you think this team can do man um as the you know as we near the end if we can win one at a time, I'll be really happy. Let's get through Burn Hills Thursday. Hopefully we see you guys down the road. But if we keep playing defense, it always gives us a chance. Okay, Coach, talk to me about the game plan that you had coming in tonight facing the Falcons. What was the message that you sent to your crew? Well, we know how athletic they are. I think they play really, really hard. I think Coach Brown does a really good job with them. So what we wanted to do tonight was we really wanted to control the pace. We wanted tempo to be – we wanted them to guard us in the half court, and we wanted to make them score against us in the half court. We didn't want to get up and down. And I thought the kids did a really, really good job of first-shot defense tonight. We, we defended them, and if we can rebound a miss – you know, if you can keep the shooting percentage down, the score stays down. And uh, we had good possessions on offense. Then we took good shots and kids shared the ball. We weren't selfish. And when that's happening, usually good things happen. <clears throat> now, uh, we, this is my, our first time seeing you out. Is that the staple that you run? You had Karuchi up. Is that a 1-2-2 two, two matchup like you guys like to play? Is that something that you've done or something that you changed coming into this game? We, we have changed quite a bit. We've played whole games of man to man we played one game uh, a lot of one three one and you know it's it, it is one two two i mean it looks like three two but i mean essentially we have Cruci up high six six long arms we try to discourage that ball reversal and and keep the ball out of the lane if we can help but we just don't want guys getting to the basket we want to force threes if we can contested threes and rebound misses that's what we try to do now in the sports cast tonight we talked about you know you guys being about 500 and finding yourself in chemistry and jelly what does a, a win like this does and what do you say you at right now at this juncture in the season 
we're getting better. The one thing people that follow us know is we were exceptionally inexperienced. Matt Letko, number 11, is really the only guy who played last year. I mean, 24 Mike Ray, 4 Ben Romer, uh, and 23 Vinny Carucci. They played a little bit last year. They were at, on the back end of the rotation. They get a lot of minutes. And Jack Long, the other starter, didn't really play much at all. So we're kind of finding ourselves. And I do think we're, I really do believe we're getting better every game. Uh, we've been in at pretty much every game we've played this year. And, uh, we're starting to learn how to finish games, and I like how we're playing right now. Hey, great job, Coach. Every time we see you guys out, you guys play hard, and you do a fundamentally good job with these guys. I really appreciate what you guys do for high school sports, man. It's awesome. Hey, Post game report here, Umoja 2 style. We're here with Matt Lecco. Matt, man, you played fabulous tonight, man. And we saw you last year, and it seemed like you just grew even more this year, offensively, defensively, um, with your composure on the, on the court, like you're more of a leader out there. Talk to me about, you know, you know um, what got into you this year and what did you do this offseason to get so to get so gifted this, this season? You know, just working on my game all around. That's what I focused on a lot. Getting in the gym over the summer with all the guys that are returning and just getting better as a team, building that chemistry over the summer really helps us. Okay. When did you think that you had this game in hand uh, against the Falcons tonight? What, 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 what period or what time of the game do you think you, you, know, you really had control of it? Uh, just everybody made the right pass, you know, like we didn't really care who scored. We just hit the open guy and we were getting layups at ease. So it just works for us. So what time of the period do you think that happened? Like was the first period, second period, third period, fourth period? When, when, when do you think you really gained control of this game? Probably right in, uh, I'd say first half. Maybe not the first period, but definitely the first half. Now, um, you know, you, you guys share the ball, you guys rebound, you gang rebound on the glass very well. Is that something that you guys um, really work on in practice, or is that the mentality that some of you guys on your team just have? Yeah, Coach Bugs really emphasizes defensive rebounds. You know, they can't score if they don't have the ball, and a lot of high school teams don't score on the first shot, so we defensive rebound will be good. Now, I noticed that a few of you guys play uh, football on your team. Do y'all guys bring that same mindset to the hardwood here? Yeah, we definitely try to be more physical than the other team, and I think we showed that tonight. You know, they had some size on us, but we out, we were more physical than they were and just took it to them. Okay, Matt, Coach alluded to the fact that you were one of the few players on this team that played a lot last year with Romer, Carucci, and Ray not having played a whole lot long as well. How do you feel being a callus on this team, and what is your message and what is your leadership on this team? You know, just play hard, play together. I mean, if we do that, we'll be good no matter who we play. Stick to what we do and not try to overthink it. So coming into tonight's game, going against a Falcon team, what was kind of like your message? What was your mindset coming in that you wanted to accomplish as well as your team? Uh, well, first and foremost, always get a win and then just get stops and get rebounds. If we do that, we'll be good no matter who we play. So now you go into going into the latter part of the season, good victory. You guys are starting to gel and find themselves. What are you looking forward to the latter part of the season of continuing to grow as a Warriors team? Uh, we definitely got some tests coming up. I know we got Shen next week. We got a big double-A game against Troy coming up. And just keep going through the season, getting better, and get ready for sectionals. Thanks for your time, and good play tonight. Congratulations, and see you down the road.